Welcome back. You're still watching the Afia Morning Show. Thank you for staying tuned. And now we go around the region. Today we'll begin in Imo State, where to address the gaps in specialized medical care, the Imo State's government has finalized a multi-partner agreement to upgrade hospital management and establish a robotic surgical center. The initiative aims to integrate advanced technology into the state's healthcare system to improve patient outcomes and reduce the need for medical trips abroad. Chukwe Mecca Pascal was on ground and filed this report. Take a look. This agreement brings together the Imo State government and three key partners, Heartland Hospital Management Corporation, Prostate Clinical Limited, and Imo Digital City Limited. Unlike traditional health interventions, this partnership focuses on a dual approach, fixing hospital administration while simultaneously introducing high-end surgical technology. You know, prostate cancer is a deadly disease and has killed thousands of Imolites. The new technology, out of artificial intelligence, is robotic surgery by AI. And one of the best and most proficient scholars in the world, in Europe, was Equem, whose presence you have seen is also in Lagos. He's from the state. So we have encouraged him to come and partner with the state government through Heartland Hospital Management Company to install robotic equipments in our facility here and then operate from Imo State. And that, of course, will attract medical tourism into Imo State. Treat our people. Our people have access to good medic and all the rest of the thing. So the whole thing about prosperity, development, awareness is gradually gaining momentum. So for me, this is a major breakthrough to our medical program for our people. A key component of this deal is the introduction of the Da Vinci Robotic Surgical System. This technology, which will be overseen by Professor Kingsley Equime, is designed for high precision, minimally invasive procedures. This is historic, and I want everybody to take a minute to, to actually reflect on what has just happened. Uh, it's, never been hap uh, it's never happened in, uh, in Nigeria, so this is the first in the history of this country that a partnership of this nature is actualized. And for it to happen in, in Imo State, it's actually uh, amazing. I came to Imo State at the invitation of His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Hope Zodema, the governor, and uh, we toured the state. I saw firsthand what has happened, the revolution. Uh, I call it quiet revolution that is happening in Imo State, beginning with the health insurance scheme that has been developed, and I understand that over 1.4 million people have already subscribed, and that is unprecedented in the history of this state. It means that healthcare is getting closer to home, and uh, to have the opportunity to uh, bring robotic surgery, which we developed for the first time in, in West Africa, uh, in Lagos, and uh, to bring it home to Imo State is something of joy to me, and uh, the impact will be felt. The agreement assigns hospital administration to Heartland Hospital Management Corporation, Y Prostrate Clinical Limited, and Imo Digital City Limited, handle technical infrastructure and equipment. With the document signed, the focus now shifts to the implementation phase and the installation of the specialized equipment from the Imo State Government House. Chukwemeka Pasco reporting, for TV. Thank you, Pascal, for that story. I mean, good looking out to Imo State. A lot is happening. Imo out. is doing so much. Good and I understand out, why Nandi upgraded their grade from last year. Good looking out and shout out to Imo State government here, yeah, mm -hmm. blazing the trail in the that's southeast. Right. You know, that's that's a, a a a mammoth, you know, grade upgrade. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 bringing that to Imo State and expanding and enhancing their health sector is something that is very con commendable i mean when you know something like this is feasible it's possible in nigeria and you do eventually have the need to use those services i mean that's something that you definitely appreciate so it's a great one and good looking out to that focus on health by the emo state government